Google just made some updates to its Notebook LM software. And it got me wondering, is Google Notebook LM better than the Google Gemini platform than it's based off of? Uh, I don't know, but we're going to jump in and find out live. All right, let's do it. What's going on, y'all? If you don't know, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI to grow our companies and careers. Uh, most days we do a quick uh, AI in five, quick five minute tip, trick, or tutorial on generative AI. So we've already done a video on uh, Notebook LM, actually a couple of videos. So they just uh, released a lot of new features and made some under the hood improvements as well. And I've been actually very impressed by Notebook LM. And if you follow the show at all or this channel, you know I'm generally, if I'm being honest, under impressed or not very impressed with Gemini itself. Uh, so I said, let's see how these two compare. So uh, I'm going to do it on one very particular uh, kind of test here. It's recalling information on specific files. All right, so here's here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I have essentially a bunch of different transcripts here. All right, and I'm going to be, uh, this is a needle in a haystack test. That's why this is NIH, right? So essentially I hid a bunch of information in these files, and these files are pretty long. Right, so as an example, we have about 400, uh, about 400 pages of information, and then I just have some random uh, information that I snuck in there. So uh, this is going to test: uh, is uh, you, you know, Notebook LM maybe better at retrieving accurate information than the Google Gemini model that it's built on top of? I would doubt it. I would be surprised, but I don't know, y'all. I do these uh, live, unscripted, unedited. So let's jump in and find out. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try to do these the same way. So I'm going to go to uh, Google Docs here. All right, and then I'm going to type in, uh, let's see, here they are. So here's my four documents, and I'm going to insert those. All right, and then you'll see uh, they're adding them as sources on the left-hand side. It's probably going to take uh, it's probably going to take here uh, a minute. So while we wait, I'm going to jump in Gemini and kind of do the same thing. All right, so here I am in Google Gemini. I'm going to click Add Files, um, and I'm going to do Add from Drive. So I'm going to try to do it the same way, uh, just to you, you know make sure everything's kind of the same. All right. So Google uh, Gemini works a little different. So uh, you don't really upload them into kind of a a database or uh, kind of a, a set of project files, you upload them in the context of uh, a prompt, right? Uh, and, and then theoretically or presumably, it's going to keep that context in mind as long as I am in that specific chat inside of Gemini. All right, so now that we got this kind of lined up, all right, so it looks like uh, Notebook LM has already loaded everything in. And I already did uh, an entire um, kind of show on this or a video on this. I'm going to go ahead and click generate just so later we can maybe uh, listen uh, or actually we're not going to be able to uh, sharing the screen. So, uh, but what you can do some new things in Notebook LM is probably this new audio overview, which is really cool, but I already did a video review on that. So let's just start asking questions right away. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I, I doubt that they'll be able to understand this, but I'm going to see if they're smart. So I'm going to say, is there any information in these documents that seem out of place? The reason why I'm asking that is like, right, I'm saying Jordan's favorite food is deep dish pizza. Jordan's favorite NFL team is the Chicago Bears. And these long transcripts I'm adding, these are podcast transcripts. So I'm not talking about these things, right? So in theory, this information is pretty out of place. So I just want to ask these open-ended questions uh, to see if they actually get this right. Uh, again, I wouldn't expect either of them to get this right. Uh, this would actually, to me, signify a pretty um, impressive level of intelligence or feet, uh, uh, functionality here. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do the same thing now in Gemini. And I know we're bouncing back and forth, right? We don't do flashy editing, right? We just give it to you live, uh, unedited, unscripted. So let's see how both of these systems do. Uh, all right, so uh, again, nothing, uh, didn't get this correct, which is fine, right? Uh, so uh, Notebook LM says there are a couple pieces of information in the sources that could be considered out of place. Um, so yeah, nothing, nothing there that's actually, uh, makes sense. But again, I wouldn't expect them to get this correct. Um, same, uh, same thing with Google Gemini, right? So 
Yep, nothing, nothing there. But again, I would never, at least right now, I wouldn't expect a large language model to be able to do that. That would be a very impressive feat. All right, but here's the actual test. All right, which one is better at retrieving kind of hard to find information? Are they both gonna be the same? All right, so now I'm going into the chat and, uh, oh, that's not the correct question. Let me copy this. Uh, there we go. All right, so I'm saying, where does Jordan live? All right, no other context. Uh, but this information is in there. Remember, it's kind of out of place. So I'm going now into Gemini. Uh, I'm doing it at the same time, seeing which one's kind of faster. Pretty fast. All right, so there it is. Jordan lives in Chicago. It looks like apparently I mentioned this in one other place. The thing I love about Notebook LM is it gives me, uh, it gives me these uh, citations. So I can click on them, and then it takes me, there it is. There's uh Ah, that's actually not the hidden one. Apparently, I did say this twice. Um, okay, so it found that kind of hidden information. Uh, and then let's see, I'm going to exit out of this. Let's see how Gemini did. Very strange. All right. Uh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, but it says I am from Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, clearly, yeah, no, that's wrong. All right. Uh, so it says that it used these sources, and that's wrong. Uh, also, interesting here, this is maybe where we're running into problems. Uh, keep in mind, though, I am on the paid plan of uh, Gemini. So uh, I'm pretty sure I am, right? Gemini, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm on Gemini Advanced. All right. I'm actually going to pause this and double check. All right. I did just confirm I am on Gemini Advanced, uh, the Gemini business plan. I thought it used to say that. Uh, I thought it used to say Gemini Advanced up there, but uh, they're, they're always changing this, so I don't understand why. All right, so now it also looks like, all right, here we go. So interesting. Apparently, that exceeded Gemini's context window. So, uh, I mean, right off the bat, we're already seeing that there's a, a huge advantage here uh, to Notebook LM. It, it, you know, you can just work with so much more data. All right, let's try the next one. What is Jordan's favorite food? All right, so I'm going to go in here. Uh, we're going to ask uh, Notebook LM. Interesting. So here it says, the sources do not contain any information about Jordan's favorite food. All right. Uh, interesting. Uh, so I'm going to try again here. And again, I don't think this is actually going to work inside of Gemini because it says right here, files and prompts uh, exceed Gemini's context window. Uh, so I'm going to ask this again. Let's see if it uses those as a source still. So, okay, it says reading your documents. So same thing, uh, Jordan's favorite food is not explicitly mess, uh, mentioned. So this is interesting because I actually assumed uh, that this would work correctly uh, inside of Notebook LM, uh, but it didn't, unfortunately. All right, so let's do one more, uh, actually two more. I got two more hidden, and I did write, uh, you, you know, what page this was on, uh, and then the number of pages in the document, right? So uh, just to verify these things. All right, so now we're going again, saying what is Jordan's favorite NFL team? Let's jump in Gemini, ask the exact same thing, see how they do. So uh, I actually thought in my early testing that uh, Notebook LM would probably get this right. Um, I didn't expect Gemini to. Uh, so there it goes. It says Jordan's favorite NFL team is not explicitly mentioned. The thing about Gemini that I don't understand where it says files and prompts exceed Gemini's context window, right? People always talk about Gemini and, oh, it has 2 million token context. No, not, not on the front end. It does in the AI studio. In the front end, the context window, as you can see here, is, is not super impressive. All right, so... It got this one right. Notebook LM did the second time. Chicago Bears. Uh, let's, okay, so there we go. And apparently I did mention it uh, maybe twice. So I'm gonna click on this. Uh, there we go. There's my hidden. This is the hidden one. All right, so uh, it, it got it right on that one. So uh, pretty, pretty interesting there. It got so far two wrong and one right. All right, let's do our last question. What is Jordan's favorite color? All right, so we're going into Gemini here. Don't expect this to work. Uh, again, Gemini gave us one hallucination so far, and let's see if it's giving us two or three cannot answers. All right, so uh, it gave us one hallucination and three cannot answers, and let's see how um, Notebook LM did. 
Okay, interesting. So uh, it gave us two right and two incorrect here. So I'm actually curious. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hard uh, a hard refresh, and I'm gonna try those two uh, one more time. I'm just curious. Uh, so we got that one. Uh, all right, the sources did not contain information on Jordan's favorite color. Okay, so you know what? I'm not even sure why. Uh, so I'm on the favorite color. So I'm looking at the numbers. Let's see, favorite color. Okay, that's page 96 out of 119 pages. Uh, it got this one correct though, 109 pages, and that hidden one was on page 91. Uh, and then the other one, uh, let's see, the other one that it got incorrect, uh, you know what, let's just do this. Let's do them all at once uh, and, and, and see how it does. All right, and we'll we'll give Gemini another another try, even though I don't expect it to uh, to work here. So, yeah, a little bit longer of an AI in five, y'all. Uh, I like to also, you know, for for you guys to see kind of inside how I'm constantly doing these tests on different large language models uh, when they get updated. So, uh, yeah, you'll see here, uh, Gemini, like we said, uh, one hallucination and uh, three non answers, and then I'm going to see when we uh, did all three at once. So here we go, uh, Chicago, nothing on the favorite food, uh, Chicago Bears, and there we go. This time I got this uh, last one correct. So uh, in this instance, Notebook LM got three right in one no answer, uh, which is important. Um, and Gemini got three wrong in one hallucination. So interesting, right? Based off uh, Gemini, but uh, the the technology behind uh, Notebook LM and how it essentially uh, contextualizes your knowledge base and the files that you upload is much different. And in my opinion, obviously way better than whatever Gemini is doing under the hood. The front end of Gemini, I haven't been a fan uh, a fan of it, um, and you can probably see why here. All right, I hope this was helpful. I know this is a longer one. Uh, let me know if you wanna see more uh, comparisons, if you wanna see more Notebook LM. If I'm being honest, uh, aside from ChatGPT in the last three years, Notebook LM is probably a top four uh, you, you know, tool uh, that I've seen and that I've used, and I've used more than a 1,000 of them in the past probably three or four years. So extremely impressive, worth checking out. Also worth checking out youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. Uh, let me know on this channel if this video was helpful. Please subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see, and I'll see you back for another AI in 5 or AI in 13. Thanks, y'all.